So next up, uh, we have a very special speaker, C.B. Tan, who is from the Big Data Exchange. As you guys know, um, it does take a lot of money to store valuable public data. And what CB is doing is figuring out a marketplace where you can actually auction off valuable public data and to make it more affordable to preserve humanity's most important information. So CB, um, welcoming you to the stage. Also a fun fact, CB used to run a grocery and juicery uh, business, and so if you have questions about starting a business there, you can also approach him on those questions. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Uh, good afternoon. Very excited to be here. My name is CB Tan. I'm the product manager at Big Data Exchange, and today I'll talk about how unique crypto econ has given us the opportunity to build a new product called Big Data Exchange. A bit of a shameless plug here, but we'll talk about other opportunities available as well. Uh, before we begin, it's always very important to get our mission right. And our mission is the same as Falcoin, which is to um, you know, create a decentralized, efficient, and robust foundation for humanity's information. So let's get started now. What is Big Data Exchange? Uh, we are essentially a marketplace where storage providers come to bid on uh, valuable data from clients. And we try to create an efficient and uh, smooth deal-making process. And in so doing, we'll achieve two things. Number one, We'll create, uh, we'll create a strong pipeline, a consistent pipeline of field plus deals for storage providers. And number two, we'll increase clients' awareness and adoption of decentralized data storage solutions. So uh, let's talk a little bit about what is File Plus because this is the crypto, unique crypto econ that we're going to be presenting today. Uh, File Plus is essentially created to increase uh, Filecoin's mission in uh, creating this uh, decentralized storage solution. It's a layer of social trust and it is uh, depicted here in the, in, in the slide here to show how data cap get allocated from notary to clients to SP. Uh, clients will need to convince notary that, oh, I have this useful data that's going to be stored uh, with uh, stores in a decentralized way. Uh, and then they will deploy this data cap to store, uh, SP. When SP get this data cap, they'll receive a 10 times boost to their uh, storage power. So this is very interesting, right? Because it really essentially improves the crypto economics of all the participants in the, con in the Filecoin network economy. And this is very important because every participant plays an important role. So the real question is, how do we allocate this additional incentives, right? Do we do a trickle-down economics, or do we let the free market decide? Uh, and that's a very contentious issue because uh, every, every, every participant has uh, different concerns, different interests. Uh, but we believe the free market theory will, will let... Uh, Everyone determine what, what should their price action be. So instead of uh, so let the market decide who should be allocated this uh, additional 9x in adjusted power, right? And I'm just going to address the elephant in the room here because it seems like the SP is giving some of their rewards to the clients, but that's really not the case here uh, because as I'm going to show, this is going to make the pie even bigger. And like what ZX said earlier, because eight times two is definitely bigger than bigger than ten. Why do I say that? Because as an SP, you spend a lot of time looking for deals, right? Maybe one deal is 10. But if you can efficiently double it, you can eventually come out ahead and everyone will become a winner in this economy. So now that we uh, determine that valuable data has value, right? What we don't know is how much the value is. But we do know that from this additional fill plus uh, deal, an SP can confidently get an incremental 40 fill uh, per tabibyte a year over 360 days. So SP has different cost structure. We do not know what it is. That's why we want to create an auction house to have an, uh, a market mechanism to have a price discovery process to determine what the value should be. And once you have a, a value to this valuable data, the pie is going to get even bigger. This is where you have an island economy, right? Uh, people from elsewhere, they see that, hey, there's value there. They're going to come to this eco uh, island. And when this pie gets bigger, uh, this is where more opportuni opportunities present themselves. And that's, that's what I'm excited about for the next slide. Right now, to do a deal, there's a lot of constraints. There's technical constraints, uh, you know, there's bandwidth limitations. Uh, but once there are more people to come in, and when you have value, we can confidently uh, allocate resources to mobilize resources, technology, um, you know, uh, teams, human capital, uh, financial capital. And this is when you, things get interesting. You have, you have new teams being built. Uh, you can drive an adoption rate, you create new technology, and maybe potentially paving the way for further innovation, right? So this is what we are excited about. 
now we address why uh, clients will come to our platform, let's talk about SP. I think by now, we can conclude that SP are incentivized to look for field plus deal, right? There are usually two ways to look for field plus deal. One is you build a BD team, you go out there and source, but this is expensive because you need to build a whole team, and a lot of times the leads get to nowhere, you're wasting your time. Second part is uh, self-dealing, right? It's be the clients, which is essentially self-dealing. And if history has taught us anything, this is unsustainable, and you know, it's an opaque process, you likely will not get the data cap allocation. So this is not good as well. And this is where big data exchange comes in, right? We create a platform uh, to provide a strong pipeline of field plus deal. So SP only do what they're best at, which is to you know, provide st data storage and retrieval services. Now, a lot of people have asked me, why would SP be willing to pay? You know, they are providing a very valuable storage service. They should be getting paid instead. In a normal time, I would agree, but uh, today we're in a, a very uh, extraordinary time. We're talk talking about uh, different, unique crypto uh, economic structure on top of it, where you know, SP are now incentivized to store field plus deals, so that's improved service economics. And we have to remember, when SPs do storage deal, right, they are paying for hardware, uh, they're paying for a lot of other stuff, and, you know, technological stuff. And it's in the incentive to have efficient usage of this hardware. And that's why these are all implied benefits. Even though it seems like they are paying for the data uh, by bidding on an exchange, but in reality, if this thing works out the way we envision it to be, the implied benefit is going to be a lot bigger than the cost they are paying. Because now you no longer have to build teams. You don't have to build a BD team to go and source for deals. You just come on the platform. Remember what I said earlier? You have uh, two times eight, right? Instead of spending a lot of time looking for one deal worth 10, you have a steady stream of supply. So that makes everything very efficient. And again, on our platform, you're dealing with clients who are very, I guess over time, um, proficient in doing deal making. So you save time. When you save time, you earn time from, uh, you earn more block rewards. So these are all the implied benefit. Now, we, now I started the debate of why SP and clients will come. What's next, right? As with every exciting marketplace, liquidity begets liquidity. When, after we do a few successful deals, right, SP will come and say, oh, oh, there are successful deals there. Let's go and bid. And once clients see that, then they will come out, uh, they will come and list more, more deals. So this is a virtual cycle, right? That's why it's very important for us to onboard step by step more clients and SPs right now to build this, uh, make this island even uh, more productive. So we can be the, the place that matches SPs with valuable data, heavy by level of data, uh, improving uh, economics for all the participants in the Filecoin network. And with every transaction, right, we'll broadcast this. When there's exciting price action, where there's interest, we're gonna generate buzz, and this is how we can bring new players into this economy, and it's gonna be a win for everyone. So we'll skip this part because uh, time constraint. So again, earlier I mentioned, what are the other opportunities due to this unique crypto economics? These are the one. Once we become a place where SPs and clients come and interact and deal, we can become a repository uh, of valuable data. And I wanna emphasize, we'll be decentralized. We are not the one holding it, it's just a place where people can see where the data is, where it's coming from, where it's being stored, how to retrieve them. And now, now things get interesting, right? We create a lot of more opportunities for different groups of play, uh, players here. Number one, we can assist clients with data card application. Yesterday, um, we talked about, uh, yesterday there was a presentation on a uh, non-profit. The non-profit participants, they may not know how to onboard. Uh, so this is something we can help them. And we bring real valuable data that's helpful to humanity. Number two, we can, once SP come to our platform, we have a reputation metrics. We know how they have performed. And once we have all these data points, right, we can potentially determine, oh, for example, what is their credit score? We can essentially be the linkage between financial providers and them. And when used in the right way, right, financing can be very good for SP. You can scale up your business very, very fast with a lower cost of capital. Uh, other opportunities include, you know, we always want to be the platform to match participants within the Filecoin network uh, so we can be the platform for data retrieval services, compute over data, and more Web3 data services as we transition from Web2 to Web3. And of course, we have really determined that valuable data has, de has value. So now we can even you know, create data asset tokens. So now I'll quickly run through this uh, MVP. Uh, we've launched two weeks ago. It is live now. Uh, I won't talk about the whole process, but the best way to learn and find out is to go to our, our website, which is bigd.exchange. Here you can see how the process works. For SP, it's just a few clicks uh, to close an auction. 
uh, for storage provide, uh, for clients, it's also just a few simple steps. So this is what uh, we have achieved in two weeks. Uh, we have, I think we have validated there's a proof of concept. You know, we have shown that there's a demand for such a service. Uh, and I'm very proud of what our team has achieved here. Uh, we're not going to stop here. This is the roadmap we have for the next, uh, I would say, six months. Uh, we hope to, by the end of this, this year, we hope to have an official version where there's full integration, uh, enhanced, improved, top-notch UX experience. Um, yeah, full functionality. And hopefully, we can get more than 100 Peppy Byte data of, uh, on our platform. So with that, thank you, everyone.